Hello everyone. Today it's my Can We Talk segment. It is the last week of August. I guess the ending of summer, so to speak. Um, not necessarily the heat, but summer. And um, I have a couple things on my mind that I would like to express or share or address, whichever you, it comes across as, I guess. Um, I have been away from my family for over 10 years. Not to say that I don't see them at least once a year since I've been away from them, but it's just not the same. Um, there are some people that can live without ever seeing their relatives, you know, they talk to them on the phone and they're okay with that. I don't happen to be one of those people. I love my family and I love them enough to want to spend time with them. Um, don't want to offend anybody, so let me qualify that by saying, I'm not saying that you don't love your family if you don't get to see them. But most people that are living apart from family have a husband or um, they move because they're young and they want to explore the world. I've done that. I've done my exploring of, of the world. I have I had been married for a long time before my divorce. I have one child and I see him at the most twice a year for the last 10, 15 years. I was very close to my family, so for me, being away from my family, it's draining on my spirit. Um, when I was in a relationship with someone, it made it a lot easier to not worry about trying to get back to my family. But now I'm alone and I've been alone for um, at least five years. So for me, there's nothing here except my job. Now you might say, then why did I even move to another state? And I will tell you, I moved to this state with the premise that my son and his wife would be moving here also. But they, um, he did not like it here, so he moved back after less than, less than six months. So um, I am just basically tired of being without family and close friends because most of my close friends, let's face it, at my age, my friends are not really here anymore. They were, they were established prior to my moving. So I don't have any close friends. I don't have any close family. Um, and I miss that. I miss being a part of a family gathering. If you work for corporate America, you know that vacations and things like that can not always be at a time when there is family gatherings. I can't depend on being able to go home for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, for the major holidays when most families can take time off and be together in one spot. Okay, so that's one of my things. I, I like what I do. I don't like where my company is going now, but I like what I do and I'm good at what I do. But it makes it hard to know that what you have given up to move with a company and then the direction of what you move for starts changing because then you're there and you're like, well, this is not what I move for, but what are you going to do? And you if you've ever moved with a job, you know how hard it is to move back from that job, and especially in this economy. I am grateful for a job in this economy. I'm at the age now where mine is made up. There's very few that can change it. And only that man up there can make a change in my thinking right now. But my thinking right now is, I need to do what's best for me 
and whether or not um, it's going to guide me into going this way or going that way will be in the end up to my God above. But I know what my choices are and I know what my wants are, what my needs are. And so if, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not going to let anyone influence what my thoughts are on what I'm going to do with what time God has given me left on this earth, except for God. So I'm not going to let man, woman, child, or anybody else dictate my choices. Um, the reason for this video is just, I'm just chit-chatting and anybody miss working as much as we miss that feeling of accomplishment or gathering of people in one place of keeping your mind active of learning something new we don't really want to work and if you say you do then hey you're a special person but if somebody was to give me a million dollars I'd walk today from my job and start doing the things that I want to do to, to travel to go to college and and learn something to to open my own business anything I don't necessarily need to work for corporate America to be happy so I just wanted to share that that sometimes we let We second guess ourselves and we don't. If you're coming to a job like myself, who's been here for over 20 years, you have that security of knowing I have a job. Now you know that that's not necessarily gonna last forever. As I told you, there are changes coming in my company also that will affect me and many others here. Um, I guess this is more of a rant than a can we talk video because I just want to share what I'm feeling. I am feeling that um, life waits for no man. You know, we have to live every day as if it's our last. And as cliche as that sounds, I think it's more so today than any other time in history. You know, I mean, you walking down the street, people are pulling guns and, you know, they're still whether you agree or not, there's still racism in this world. As a matter of fact, there's racism on YouTube. You know, people don't want to admit that, but there is. And I come from up, it was very hard for me. I came here when I was 12 years old, and it was very hard for me to adjust to people not liking me because they didn't like the color of my skin. So, <coughs> excuse me. It's frustrating for me. Um, it's frustrating and it's it can rob you of your self-esteem if you're not strong enough. I have always thought of myself as a strong person so not to say that I don't get hurt or my feelings don't get hurt but they do but you'd never know it because I'd never tell you. I'd never show you what you'd you know so but anyway, I'm rambling now, and I just, um, that's not, that was not my intent. But anyway, um, I hope I didn't, wasn't too much all over the place for you guys. But I think I'm going to start this on a weekly basis for real, on a can we talk kind of topic. Because I have so much that's on my mind that right now it's all going in all different directions. But anyway... <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in um, I don't guess this is going to be a very um, popular video because sometimes people don't really want to hear what your inner thoughts are on certain subjects but you know um, I am not a black American but I'm a black woman and I feel the racism just like 
someone that was born here, I feel, um, I feel it everywhere in all my surroundings, even in my work environment. Um, and whether you choose to believe it or not, I, as a black woman, am, I am treated different from you as a white or Hispanic woman. So I don't think it's really a surprise topic for most of you, but it may not be something that you like to hear or talk about. It's unfortunate that in this world, we can't get past the color of anyone's skin. And anyway, I'm going to stop it here because... Uh, I don't want to turn this into a controversial topic. <laughs> that was not my intent. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you guys again uh, the weekend. Love y'all. Bye. Peace. Tell someone you love them today. It could make their day. Or better yet, just smile. Bye.